guys and welcome back to my channel boardroom craftsman in this video i'm going to show you guys how i made this modern nightstand for my stepkid compared to what he has right now it's a filing cabinet so this is a huge improvement to what he has um, i tried to do this in a one day and i actually was able to make it happen in one day so if you do like what you're seeing could you guys comment and like the video and if you do want to see more videos please subscribe to my channel thank you So the first thing I like to do on a build with the tabletop is to actually finish up the tabletop. Meaning, I like to get everything rounded over, sanded, cut to size, then I reference my measurements for the base off that. It's a lot easier to do it this way because usually tables are measured off of the top and not the base. So that's why I do it this way. So what I'm doing here is using my track saw and a large square to cut one side square. Then I use my table saw to make parallel with the side I cut on my track saw. I actually have a video on how I actually make these tabletops. You can search it on my channel. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that I didn't screw up because I screw up a lot. So if I can check 25 times each time I do something, I probably won't screw up as bad. So there's two things in life that I really hate doing. And that's sanding and that's doing the dishes. I think that I hate them both equally just as bad and I wish they both didn't exist but I eat and I would work so I have to have both of those things. Then I use the router, come back over, smooth everything over, really helps give you that handmade feel to it because it adds flaws to the work and it doesn't make it feel as perfect. Then I take the pencil. And I like to do this because it helps keep my sander nice and flat and I make sure that I can stay consistent throughout the piece. Then you get start to get really bored after you're sanding and you start sitting on the table, you're getting tired. You want to be texting, but you can't. So you decide to sit down. And then you start sitting and doing weird things like dreaming about what you would do tomorrow or eating macaroni and cheese. And then you'll lay down on the table you want to go to bed, but then you know that if you go to bed, and you're going to get called off on YouTube for saying that you're being unsafe and you're going to cause other kids to do that. But why would you do that? So I'm terrible at math, and if I don't have to use it, I'm not going to use it. So right here, I'm just kind of laying it out, because I know what I'm supposed to measure, and then I just draw pretty little pictures to make sure my terrible math skills that I should have listened to in high school, and I never did, because I didn't think I was going to become a woodworker, and then I am, and now it's coming back to haunt me. So I take some scrap pieces of some wood that I got in my shop trying not to go spend any more money and I'm milling up the material for the aprons. So I got those all cut to size. Now I'm laying out the table base itself. Uh, the aprons into the legs and don't be mad guys. I am using my Festool Domino as well. You can use pocket hole screws, dowels, screws with dowels and I don't know any kind of cool things like that. But I'm just choosing to use this. It's probably faster to probably use pocket hole screws but I didn't want pocket hole screws in this. I just felt like doing something different. So I can actually glue up the table base. Went fairly easy for the most part, but that's the cool thing about the domino. And would you look at that? You got you guys two sides of the table base. So now I'm waiting for those two sides to dry. I decided I think I need to clean up my shop. I have a really bad ADHD. So at the same time, I had to go inside and grab a bag of chips because I was really hungry. And I was shooting this video and I was working and sweating and then I decided well I need to make a fire too. I kept eating my chips but then I realized I haven't taken a break today either. So I had to go outside 
and I came back inside and I started reading the stain can because I was so bored waiting for this stuff to dry. I had nothing else to do. What has my life become? Well, I made the time go by quick by doing all those crazy things. Now I could take them out of clamps and I could start on the other two sides of the aprons. So I'd do the same thing as like I did the first two is pretty much just connecting these two pieces to the other two sides. So it's super simple, pretty much the exact same thing, just a little different because you've got big pieces now. Um, here's this little block that I like to use too to make sure um, everything stays consistent and pretty much foolproof for the most part. And yes, gluing it up all together now. Um, this went pretty simple for the most part besides the fact that my phone ended up being full so I had to go and delete stuff so I missed like the second half of this glue up. But good thing that happened because as you can see I was having some problems. I had no clue what happened. I started having to switch stuff and yeah, it started getting crazy because what I did is I labeled two parts as Y because I started just going randomly through the alphabet and that's where I went wrong. But I did figure it out and it kind of sucks that it cut off, but hey, that happens. You probably just didn't want to watch it anyways because I'm pretty sure like I kicked a piece and yeah. So I'm waiting for those pieces to dry now and I decided it was a good time to cut the grass even though I cut the grass on Friday. Today's Sunday, so. I needed something to do just to make time go by quick because I get really bored sometimes. All right, so now I'm just uh, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the bottom because I really don't know what I'm gonna do. So kind of came up with this design of using these maple pieces um, that I've had from a long time that I haven't ever had a good idea to use them for besides like a cutting board. And I really don't make cutting boards that often. So I did this open design on the bottom and I use these little block spacer pieces, which I actually nailed the first time on spacing which never happens. It usually takes me 500 times to do something, but this is the very first time in my whole entire life I ever got something first try, and it worked, and I got it on video, so I'm patting myself on the back as we speak. Good job. So as you can see, um, the these little pieces at the bottom have to be notched around the legs just so it looks good. So I went over to my bandsaw and I just cut the notches out. Pretty simple. And here's the first look with the slats down, the table top on, everything put together. Really, really looks sharp and it's a pretty simple build too. So got everything all laid out and ready to go. Just gave it a quick final sand, made sure I rounded over all the edges so there's no sharp spots or any possible, you know, risk for getting a splinter. And here's the final look with the black stain on. Obviously still need to add the uh, slats, but this thing is turning out sharp. <laughs> 